Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633, back with another Star Wars review. This time we're going to look at the Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch black series, Ponda Baba. Now, this is kind of an interesting character to see a reissue, especially since this particular character seems to go for a lot of money online for the Vintage Collection release. So it's nice to see this particular character be released in the Black series as well. Unfortunately, I do not have his friend Dr. Evazon. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, but I'm not really too sure since I wasn't able to really find out exactly how you pronounce it. But it's nice to see this character get released for those who wanted him. Anyways, we're going to take a look at the box. The box has the typical 3 and 3 quarter inch Black series box style. And that's a picture of Ponobaba there along with his name there. So today is a part of the Walmart exclusive wave, and since the Black Series do not have numbers for the 3 and 3 quarter inch, you're not going to get any numbers there, and has the bio on the back as normal. So, we're going to take a look at the figure more closely. The figure is actually pretty well articulated, especially since it was a vintage collection release. The head is ball jointed. It has ball joints on the shoulders, ball jointed elbows. He does have swivels only on the wrists, but you're not going to get a whole lot just due to the nature of the design of his hands. He does have swivels at the hips, ball jointed knees, and fully jointed ankles. So you do have some pretty decent articulation. His blaster can be placed in his hand, but it's a little bit troublesome due to the fact that you do kind of need to wedge it in between his hands. We're going to actually got to take this off and take a more, more closely at the blaster. Blaster is a pretty interesting design. It's actually pretty unique design blaster in general. You can place the blaster in its holster, although I haven't been really figuring out a way to kind of place it properly since it just looks like it stretches out the holster rather than hold it. I think it looks something like this when attached properly, but for some reason it just doesn't look right when I place it in. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the articulation. He does have a few accessories, since he is a character that got his arm cut off by Obi-Wan Kenobi in A New Hope. He does have an alternate arm, which can be separated into three pieces to represent his arm getting chopped off. Since you can actually unpeg this entire piece here and place on this version of the joint to represent his arm getting cut off. And just like in the film, you can keep the hand on the ground. Now, it's what's really weird about this particular character is that throughout the different takes of the film, they kind of went through a lot of edits. One version of the film had it so that his hand was cut off on the ground, and you see the hand cut off, it looked like this. However, that's ex not exactly how the design of his hands are like, since he does have the web kind of styled hands like this. So it's weird that... Well, not really web, but like the shell kind of style. And it's weird that they actually did that with the edit. The second edit, they actually changed this into Dr. Evazen's arm. And once again, when they changed it again, they changed it so that this was the correct arm when cut off. Which, I don't know what happened exactly during the edit of the film, or just the film in general. Since it seems like they weren't quite sure what they were doing, at least for that scene. So that is weird how that turned out. We're just going to unpeg the shoulder bit and place this back. And if you wish to, since you can have the option, you can actually take off these versions of the hands. And you can place a more symmetrical version with both hands being like the standard kind of hairy kind of hands. So it's nice that you can have a bunch of options, although this is obviously not accurate. Although, from what I could tell, I think I looked up some scenes from A New Hope and the hands did change from scene to scene. So once again, it's just one of a very strange situation where we got going here for this particular character. He does come with this really cool looking drinking glass, and I think that's really cool that we have characters that actually include that. So it's a little bit easier, we're actually just going to keep the drinking glass in his regular hand. So you can't actually let him hold it. So it's nice to see this figure even get a bunch of accessories, actually. Since a lot of the characters in general kind of don't get a whole lot. So it's nice that Pwned Baba actually included all the accessories that were included with the Vintage Collection release. They just have a lot of accessories in general. I got this at Walmart.com since they finally decided to stock for me. And it's 
a real pain to really track down any of the three and three quarters Black Series figures outside of the very first wave of the three and three quarters Black Series for the Force Awakens. So its distribution has just been awful for this line, and it's really unfortunate since these, especially when it comes down to these later release characters, it's really hard to even track down to begin with. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check out Twitter Dark on 633, and don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content go up as soon as possible, and back with more stars reviews. But for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye.